I'm too tap tap, and I guess a little addendum is justified after yesterday's video. So, Epistream does this thing sometimes where they stagger updates, and so a small group of people get the update, you know, a few days before everyone else. Usually, I am in the group that gets it absolutely the latest possible. So when I got the update, I figured everyone else did. Uh, turns out I'm one of the early people this time. So a bunch of people were asking to see the luck shell spin thing, and I just figured everyone just could have access to it, but no. Uh, it's really not that exciting, but um, here we go. All right, here it is. Here's the whole thing that you missed. Isn't it amazing? It's a bunch of spinning icons, and then you get a thing. Um, so the gimmick is it's it's a regular gashapon. Um, it's just a random number generator that gives you some stuff, and you have, have a very 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 low chance of getting anything of value. But as you can see, you can get past event fish. Um, there's no ev exclusive fish in this, and I do not believe there are any paid event fish. Um, if you pay, if you get the uh, free option, which you just watch an ad to do, you usually get either 10, 50, or 100 pearls or gems. And um, you can also get vitality. I've gotten vitality about 50% of the time, um, gems and pearls the uh, other half of the time. Have not got any fish yet in the tiny luck shell. Um, if you pay pearls for the larger ones, you're guaranteed to get a event fish. But the problem with paying the pearls is, for one thing, that's a lot of... Um, so 200 pearls for the big luck shell spin. That's a single fish, right? Uh, that's five dollars worth of pearls. Hello, your foot is wet! Why is your foot wet? I'm sorry, my cat just interrupted me. Thank you, Parker. Wh wh why do you do this? He, he drinks water with his... He puts it on his foot and then he licks it off. It's gross. And it makes your water all gross, too! Ew, don't step on me with your wet paw! <laughs> He's offended. He's so offended right now. I'm sorry, Parker. I did not mean to be rude to your peoples. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um... That's pretty much all that you missed in the last episode. Um, they did update. Uh, there was an update. Like I said last time, it was crashing all the time on my PC. Uh, it seems to not be the case anymore. But someone else that also got the update early says that with the newer version, they are getting the freezing issue I got. So, I don't know. I guess this is what it's like to be in the quote-unquote beta version. It's a little less stable, which is kind of scary given how buggy the normal game is. But uh, yeah, the this the spin is just a gosh upon. Um, you get one chance every hour for the free one, which you watch an ad. Uh, which, as far as watching an ad's worth, I, I would say that was pretty worth it because you can get pearls. Uh, you're not guaranteed to get pearls, but I would say um, watching the recharge ad and watching the gotcha upon ad are pretty much the two most valuable ads. Um, I don't really open the mystery chest anymore because it's only really worth it for the gems. And uh, if I want gems, it's much more consistent to just watch the uh, these ones. In fact, there's a there seems to be a one in three chance of getting the gems. So basically, that's ten gems per ad watch for the 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 chest, and that's exactly what you get out of the freaking store one. So I just don't the chest isn't worth it anymore. You do have to open it fifty times for one of the hidden fish, though. Um, but yeah, ba back to the event fish thing. M my problem is it's a standard gotcha. Uh, it's basically designed to drain money out of like desperate rich people. Um, so they'll pay like, oh, you know, I, I missed the, f the big fancy fish from last week's event. I, I gotta pay $5,000 for digital fish. And um, the, the problem is there's no bias that I'm aware of to get you fish that you missed. So you might get the thing that you got but there's like a 0.1% chance that you'll get the right thing. So you gotta spin it like a thousand times and it costs $5 per spin. I mean, these are these are made up numbers. Well, the cost is correct, but I mean, it's gonna take a lot of freaking pearls. Um, I hope this doesn't mean that we're not getting repeating events. What I was thinking for events, the cool thing would be is if, oh, and don't be fooled by the event icon. It, uh, that's just that. Um, I, um, lost my train of thought. What I was hoping for events is that for like, say Halloween, you see my Halloween decorations here. Uh, I was hoping for Halloween this year, they'll have repeats of the old fish and add a set of new fish. And that might seem boring because, oh no, they're going to have the same fish. And it's like, but if they have, have to have new fish, they can't do the thing that they do every single event. They have the angel fish. They have... The, um, the Dumbo octopus, they have the football fish, 
they have the turtle, a, a shark, a dolphin, and a whale. Every single time, those six or seven fish, every single event has had a variation, a fairly minor variation of those six fish. And um, some of them are pretty good. I mean, the, the frost whale looks pretty cool, but it's always a whale. It's like, come on. Um, so I think by doing a repeat and like they have to add, say like we get all of, excuse me, Parker. Um, say we get all of these Halloween fish back and then as an extra, we get like another 10 new ones and they can't just be angelfish, but Halloween themed. Turtle, but Halloween themed. Dolphin, but Halloween themed. Y y yeah. See, like the, the, like the freaking, this guy, this guy right here, the, the penguin. That's what I want for, for the new fish, not the, aside from the fact that it's not a fish. But yeah, come on. The polar bear. No, it swims a little weird. I think they, I, I think it swims a little less weird now, but it's, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I can't really recommend watching these, but the, the, doing the free one is, you know, it's, uh, well, it's an ad one, it's not really free, but you know what I mean. It's uh, it's an alright way to spend your time. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what there, there is to know. Oh, the one the one coolest thing about getting the the fish from the past event, someone said that they got a Halloween fish from the from spinning the shell. Oh, and when you get this, you do get one free spin of the luck shell and the big luck shell. I got the flower dolphin, which is like one of my least favorite event fish, and I got. That was for the big luck shell. And for this one, I got... I don't even remember what I got. That's how insignificant it was. Um, but then I have all the event fish, so I mean... Unless it's one of my favorites, like the... Um, the the sea bunny thing. That's right, Parker. Um, unless it's one of those, I'm not really going to care about it. But... Um, yeah, somebody didn't have the event, the, the Halloween event at all. And they got a Halloween fish. And then they ended up getting the die somehow. They went into um, into the palette menu, and uh, they went and they found they just had the die. It didn't even give them a notification that they had it. So unfortunately, I have no idea how that mechanic works. I don't know if like every fish you get just adds you a new theme item if you haven't gotten one yet, because um, each event has one of each customization item. Which now that expand is moved out of this menu, people are gonna forget it exists again. Um, one of the most common things is event in events is that something will require a costume or something. People have no idea this menu is here. But uh, just a little secret between you and me. Uh, the customization stuff, it's this little palette icon. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to say about the little Gashapon. Um, I'm a, not a big fan of Gashapon. Like I said, it's pretty much just made to leech whales. But hey, if you want to spend, you know, $5,000 trying to get your, you know, your Halloween whale, uh, I've got a patron you can contribute to right, th right there in the video description. I'm sorry for calling you a desperate rich person. You you're my friend, Mr. 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 Rich Man. Yeah, Mr. Rich Lady, perhaps. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I do actually have a patron, but uh, I'm I'm having to bite my tongue. I really do not like Gashapon. It's um, yeah. If you look it up, I'm sure you can find lots of ethical discussions on it, and I, uh, I'm one of those opponents of it. I don't know if we know, we know the exact numbers. Like I was trying to say last time, um, China passed some laws, and um, like they have to make public a bunch of Gashapon numbers. And uh, surprised Japan hasn't made it illegal. I kind of hope they really will. Uh, it's it's kind of the one thing that I wish was illegal in terms of mobile stuff. I will say that Abyssrium's thing is quite one of the least offensive ones because as long as you've played the whole time, there's nothing you're gonna have to pay for. But then again, if you did just start now and if they don't repeat things, then there are just a crap ton of fish that you either missed or you're gonna have to, you know, either wait a billion years to get again from the free one or you're gonna have to, uh, you know, pay eight billion dollars for the you know big luck shell thing i mean paying five dollars for a single random fish like how awful is that and it's like it might not even like it might be like the turtle can can you imagine paying five dollars and you get 
what do you get for five dollars you get a single one of these are actually pretty cute but you get a single one of these like if you paid for the ten dollar event thing you could get like a bunch of these because you know it doubles your candy earnings the heart ray looks so weird like i get what they were doing but it looks it just like a looks like a butt with with a bow on it honestly i'm sorry this guy looks cute though look at him go I like the I, I complained about the the seasonal sharks, but I actually really like the the pink the the ribbon shark and the bunny shark. They're just so dorky. They're great, but this little guy right here he's the best. So yeah, that's that that's what you missed from the last video. I sorry I didn't mention, but I didn't like. I was not even aware, it did not even cross my mind that other people would not have it because I'm so used to being absolute dead last for getting updates. Um, I've actually updated my guide so that every single fish was known, like hidden fish for an event, before I even got the event. <laughs> actually that's happened two or three times now. Uh, it's happened almost every time. <laughs> um, but yeah, you should get, they said it would come out the ne next week, the first week of June. So I would expect at the very latest, maybe June 1st or 2nd. Um, but usually the first batch of people, the beta group, I guess, gets it maybe three, four days before the rest. And you can expect it by then, usually. I don't know if that's gonna hold true this time. Um, and also, no, they, they don't like send me early versions. They don't give me review codes or anything. I actually asked them if they have like a press list I could be on, they just didn't respond. They're, they're, they're not really the best with, with English anyway. I think they're Taiwanese apparently. Uh, I initially assumed they were Japanese because that's the, uh, Japanese is the first item in the menu after English, but uh, they're not Taiwanese, they're Korean, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what these are. I think this is, one of these is Chinese simplified, one of these is the other one. I'm gonna assume this is the not simplified, the traditional <laughs> Chinese not simplified. Um, yeah, they, they do have a pretty good set of languages. It's a shame that localizations are all really bad. <laughs> I hear the other ones are even worse than English, which I can imagine. Uh, usually, especially dubs, um, like people hate on English dubs of Japanese material. Um, non-English dubs are usually even worse. At least that's what I've been told. I've never really been able to properly understand one. But uh, maybe there's some bad German dubs I could understand. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to show off. Um, in fact, th this is kind of already pretty freaking rambly. But uh, yeah, that's all you missed. The update, the upcoming update does seem pretty good, mostly for the collection thing. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna be updating my site, so how do we get to that? Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna be updating my site, so you have these lists of what you need to do, and yes, I'm so sorry, but you need you need the striped marlin. Um, also, of note, you don't need to like have four of these out. Like, you just need to own, you know, five of each of these and so on. Um, you don't need to have all of the fish out at once or anything like that. Um, you'll never need to have fish out for gameplay purposes. Some people are afraid to put away their fish or scared because their fish disappear when they, you know, reach the cap of fish. But it's it's not a problem gameplay-wise. It just means you don't get to see your cute little fish. But yeah, I'm Sir TapTap, tuning out.